author of this legislation and has been such an advocate for addressing women's health care needs, Ms. Black from Tennessee. The gentlewoman from Tennessee, Ms. Black, is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As a nurse for more than 40 years and a believer in the God-given purpose of every human being, I am passionately pro-life. But you know what? You don't have to agree with me to support this bill. No matter our views on abortion or the party label beside our name, we should all have an interest in ensuring that laws are followed and that the taxpayer dollars are spent responsibly. If a law is broken, particularly by those receiving government money, that should be remedied. That's not a political statement. That quite literally is our job here in Congress. Two months ago, a series of undercover videos were released implicating Planned Parenthood in the illegal trafficking of aborted baby tissue and organs. Now, some of my colleagues have tried to dismiss these videos even without ever watching them. I get it. It's easier to try to discredit the source than to defend what's happening on these tapes. Well, Madam Speaker, I did watch these videos. And I saw full conversations of Planned Parenthood employees in their own words discussing potentially law-breaking activities. Congressional investigations are underway, but there are more than enough lingering questions to stop the flow of money, taxpayer dollars, to this abortion giant until our work is complete. For this reason, I have introduced the Defund Planned Parenthood Act of 2015. This legislation enacts a one-year moratorium on all federal money going to Planned Parenthood. It does not reduce women's health funding by a single dime. As a matter of fact, we actually increase women's health care funding by over $200 million. Instead, this legislation reallocates the funding to more than 13,050. 500 facilities nationwide that provide true preventative care to those who need it the most and they do not perform abortions. What's more, Planned Parenthood can get their money back, read the bill, they can get their money back if they fully commit to what they talk about in doing women's health care and stop performing abortions for this year. If there exists even a possibility that Planned Parenthood violated our laws, as I believe they did, then pro-life and pro-choice members of Congress alike must act to reallocate the funds now so that we're not trying to chase down the taxpayer dollars that already went out the door later on. This is ensuring that our laws are fo fo followed, that Americans know that their money is being spent and that the conscience rights of taxpayers are respected. I urge a yes vote on 3134, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from Tennessee reserves.